What is up guys, True here, bringing you another review on Just Because. I apologize ahead of time because the review is coming a little late. I'm currently out of town, um, but um, uh, I'll explain where I'm at in a separate video, actually on my second channel, but I'm not promoting that really. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm a little sick. But um, overall this episode, I gotta say, was intense. I mean, it's probably the most intense Valentine's I had seen in a while, and honestly, I really enjoyed it, especially the whole Morikawa and Haruto developing. I'm glad it's turning out to be a better way than I expected. As far as the other three, Komoya, Eita, and Natsume, <clears throat> it's really tough to watch. It really is, and I'm, I'm really divided. In fact, I've been divided since, pretty much since episode four or something like that, since when they started develop, developing feelings. And at first, we have Komoya just really, really just excited to go see A-Town. At the same time, we have Natsume in the beginning of the episode talking to her sister and it seems as though even though Natsume is going to Joey University, where at least planning to, it seems that Eita is also planning that. I don't know if he actually knows that her plan is to go to that university. But it's really nice to see that Natsume is still focused. And we see that in the end of the episode, how she's really focused and and really trying to do best, but at the same time at the back of her mind, we have Eita's there. As far as Komoya, she's also focused. Not so much on her stuff. She's more focused on Eita, but she's still wanting to go and win this prize. And I was really surprised, honestly, to, to see how really determined she was. Because we saw her trying to give her, her treats to Eita. Saw Natsume, I was really upset. That scene was really tough because we have Natsume who was gonna cry. It was tough and Komoya saw this. I really felt bad for both of them at that point. Komoya was really gun ho about trying to <clears throat> impress Eita with her homemade chocolates. But it was just a really hard scene to watch. It really was because both girls with somewhat pure intentions had our hearts pretty much crushed when we saw Natsume crying, uh, running out basically after seeing Komoya's picture. Komoya was heartbroken the minute she saw Natsume because she automatically knew what that meant. So it was really hard. It was really hard to watch. It was tough. But even then, I want to say that that scene was still powerful in its own sense because we see Natsume's tears and we figure out that she even says that, that I'm completely serious about him. Don't know how exactly or when that development started happening where she was like, yeah, I like him too. I mean, what was it during that little mini flashback that we got with them two putting stuff together? Was she developing feelings then? I don't really know. But... Komoya ends up seeing Eita, I think she has a little more balls and nuts in this, in this instance and she goes up and basically just gets this phone and takes the picture away and she apologizes it and it felt like throughout that episode that Komoya, even though she's been saying that she supports the president and her and him, it feels like she's really letting go of Eita. Like, there may be her first love, but it feels like she's letting go. And we get a good sense of that in the, in the last few minutes. But what I really want to talk about is this part. The part with Morikawa and Haruto. They both have feelings for each other. There is no denying that. They both find each other very, very nice. Very, they just get along very well. And I think this was the the strongest part of the episode because 
we have <clears throat> excuse me, Morikawa pretty much just, just telling him the same thing, but after having some serious thought, after changing her look, after even hanging around with them some more, she really has to tell her no. And Haruto is completely heartbroken once again. It was as if it was the first time for him to hear these words. And we see how serious she meant in it. Like, I, we had never seen Morikawa be this serious throughout the entire series. She even got worked up, which to me, Morikawa is the best chick in the show. <laughs> Just saying. But she definitely, she cares. She likes him. And she pretty much tells him, look. You can't go visit me all this time. You can't. You just can't. Because it would be too much on you. And you'd get tired of it. But here's the kicker. She said that after the college life has settled. And if you still are interested in me. Then we can go out. So basically she told him. I like you. I want to be with you. But you gotta let things be. And if the feelings are still there in time, we'll still be together. We'll, we'll get together. So, I liked it because, to me, that scene was just important. It was important to understand Morikawa's point of view. We kind of got the understanding that she was going to college. She didn't want to get attached to people. Things were going to be different. But I just really enjoyed that scene with them, too. So... Morikawa and Haruto, that ship is sailing smoothly. It might take some time, but it's sailing smoothly. But at the end of the episode, we have Komoya showing up with all these little love charms and really just trying to cheer him on. Like, you know, for your student exams, I hope the best happens. And it felt like a goodbye. And then we have Natsume who will confess after everything. So. I'm quite interested in how all this is developing. It felt like a goodbye. I felt like the confession is coming. But guys, tell me your thoughts. Sorry for the lousy sounding review. But guys, stay safe. And I'll catch you a little later.